Hey friends, welcome back to On3. I got to thinking the other day about if I could only choose one thing, if I could only choose one item, one possession to own the rest of my life, it'd be difficult for me not to choose this little axe right here. It's a Wetterlings, um, but it's just the right size, about a two foot handle, small, about two pound head, give or take. It's razor sharp, and I just really, really like it. I enjoy using it, but I got to thinking if this was my one option and I only had one tool and I happened to snap this handle by overstriking it, could I replace it with just this ax head? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today. But first, we need to break this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You didn't think I was really gonna break my favorite ax handle, right? I bought an El Cheapo axe from the hardware store the other day. Um, I purposely chose one with kind of a crappy handle. The grain orientation is not very good because I thought it might be easier to break. Well, we've done it. And there we go. And now, you just gotta figure out how to make a handle. Or maybe what we'll do, I wonder, I wonder if we could just shorten this handle a little bit reshape this part of the the uh the handle and get that to work this axe is great it even comes with instructions look at that <laughs> don't hit the axe with a sledgehammer don't twist the axe head in a stump and always wear safety glasses <laughs> Oh, hi, Mud Monster. How was the swamp? Bad. Did you guys have fun swimming in the swamp? Yeah. <laughs> your face is nasty. What? Show me. No! no, don't touch the camera. But show me your face. No! Show me your face. No! You're swimming in the mud bog? How come, I you're, it. how come you're not as dirty? Because I washed off. Oh, you went in the I creek? I too wet. You didn't, you didn't wash off in the creek yet? I did, but... Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> An attack! You bite, you bite the fist, you get the punch! Yeah! Punch! Whoop. And you get the kick! <laughs> Alright, so I think I've just about got it where I want it. It's fitting pretty good. The top of the handle is going to stick out a bit once I pound it down on there. But I've closed up all the gaps minus a little bit there in the front. But I think I could probably live with that. So I'm going to pound it on there. Get it to seat really nice. But before I do that, I need to split it just a little bit right here. Enough where I can get a wedge in there and pound it in after I get the head on onto the handle. Because once I pound this thing on there, I'm not going to want to take it off again. So let's see if I can split it without screwing up my uh, my work here.
That's about as far as I feel comfortable doing that. Let's see if you can get a glimpse of that. There's some peelings, the curlings of the wood, and that's good. I'd like to see that kind of all the way around as best I can. That way I know it, it's, it's seeding really well, and there's no spaces, no gaps, so the head can't work loose. This is going to be, the more I pound it on there, the further, the longer this is going to get. And I can't trim that, obviously, without any other tools once this head's on there. So I might just leave it long and see if I could get a wedge to start in there. Let's go ahead and just go for it. So that's seated on there pretty good. You can see the wood kind of curling, curling up where it's shaving it because it's such a close fit. This side's not quite as good, but pretty decent. And that's on there really well. That's definitely gonna come off if I don't drive a wedge in here. So I've got to try to squeeze myself a wedge in there. I've got to make a wedge with, now it'll be a little bit easier, something to hold on to. So I've got the wedge in there. As you can see, it's spread it out pretty good. So I think it's, I think it's served its purpose. Now all we need to do is figure out how to cut the wedge without the ax. That'll work. All right, so I've got a sharp rock out of the creek. Well, it's not the best rock in the world. It's quartz and that's about the best thing we have for rock cutting tools around here but since i can't use my axe head to cut this wedge i'm just going to score the top of it here right where it meets the top of the handle i'm going to score it pretty deep on both sides and then after i do that i should be able just to, to whack it and, and snap it off pretty clean flush with the top of the handle i tell you caveman our ancestors would give their right eye and probably their firstborn for this axe head without a handle. This beats the heck out of any stone uh, hand axe or anything that they could create, you know. Um, so just this axe head, even without a handle, is a very, very useful tool. And you'd be um, grateful to have it if you, if you had nothing else. Next thing we should do is maybe make a sheath for this using nothing but the axe. What would we make it? I guess we make it out of bark or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that worked good. I guess we could burn that out, but that sure seems like a lot of effort. We got the step wedge out or got the wood out of the step wedge, let that cool for a minute or two, and then uh, we will pound it in with a rock. <laughs> there we go. So, <laughs> on second thought, it may or may not have been a good idea to put that step wedge in there with so much protruding out the top. 
because it split the crap out of it, but but it really did flare it out a lot. So I don't think it's gonna come off. The only thing left to do is to test it out, right? So this is a dead tree that's on the on three property. It's a dogwood. And dogwood is an extremely hard wood and it will be an excellent test to see if our ax head holds up. So can you replace an ax handle or repair a broken ax handle in the field using only the ax head and nothing else? The answer is yes. There is no slippage. I've been pounding, splitting wood. This is some pretty hard, looks like maple wood. There's been no movement of the ax handle on the head whatsoever. It's still really secure, despite the ugliness on top there. I think it's gonna work. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.